I'm Kevin Delicker, owner of Delicker Strategies, a Lehigh Valley based small business that helps schools and universities use computer technology to improve student academic performance. Our company is small. We have six employees in our business right now, and this is my 113 page tax return, okay? Um, the first problem with the tax code is that it's so complex. Uh, a small business owner who's trying to run a business and handle the day-to-day -day operations uh, has no idea all the nuances and complexities of the tax code. Uh, you're completely reliant on a CPA and outside lawyers and accountants to try to make sure that you're in compliance with all the rules and regulations. Uh, compliance costs can be very, very high. I spend between five and $10,000 a year just filing my tax returns, uh, let alone paying the actual rate. So, you know, the complexity, you know, can really really be crippling uh, to a small business owner. You see, when you're a small business and you own your own company, depending on how you're structured, um, you pay your tax rates at the same rate as the income tax rate. Well, if you're really, really small, that might not be a problem. But if you're trying to grow your business, what it means is that as soon as you hit the level where you've generated enough income to pay uh, for your own expenses and feed your family, the government steps in and starts ratcheting up the tax rates on you until you hit 40%. In addition, you have to pay double your Social Security taxes because you're paying your own contribution and your employee contribution. And then you have all these other state and local taxes that are added on. So your marginal rate for a small business owner, once you start to grow, very, very quickly hits about 50%. If you start to change the policies, you will start to see the benefits. People will hire more employees at home, you will be, be experiencing less outsourcing as a nation, and you'll see more and more organic growth among small businesses who can now uh, be a hedge to the very, very small companies that are out there and the very, very large companies and be able to grow that middle class and that entrepreneurial sector that has really been stagnating for the better part of 20 years.